up. Do that for a thumbnail. That'd be a cool thumbnail right there. I'm just, I'll just film and then just take a screenshot. What the fuck are they doing to my camera? My phone. Camera. Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? Uh, I'm at John's place, and John and I are about to review the movie Rawhead Rex, which we haven't seen since the '80s. And I remember uh, my introduction to Clive Barker was. Uh, you know, growing up, you know, you knew Steve King and Ray Bradbury and stuff like that. And then Clive Barker was like the, one of the newer guys. And Stephen King says, well, he's getting even better than me now. Cause I remember that review that he said. Right. And the very first book I got from uh, Clive Barker was Books of Blood, Volume 3, I think it was. that had Sons of Celluloid, which I really remember. And then I think the third story was Rawhead Rex. And then that's what this movie's based on. And I remember... Uh, watching the movie, I don't know, like a year later or a few months later uh, at Home Video Exchange, uh, or John used to call it Lantman's, uh, they had the movie Riot Rex on, on uh, Vestor on Video, and I rented it, I think John rented it around the same time we were talking about it, and we said that it was good, but not as good as the story. And that's the last I remember, and then we, re uh, that's one. this is one of the movies I wanted to revisit. Again, and we saw it at John's, and I really enjoyed it. It's, it's pretty good. Um, it starts off with, you know, they're trying to remove that big uh, Celtic stone that kept the beast suppressed. And they called him Raw Head because he used to bump his head on the, on the they didn't mention the movie, but he said Raw Head Rex. Well, Raw Head, uh, he used to bump his head on the stone so much that rub it raw. I remember that in the book. And that would hurt, too. I, I'd, I'd be getting, no wonder he was so mad. He kept bumping his head. I'd get mad. I kept bumping my head. I remember that that ship bumped my head. It was so low. I remember Books of Blood, what Clay Barker say. Uh, we're all Books of the Blood. Whenever we're open, we're, we're red. red. I was going to say that, too. See, John's right on it. Right? He's right on it with the humor and stuff. He's he's quick. Because I had tried to beat him to, well, yeah, <laughs> like I mentioned before. I mean, that was a great, great Line to that. What we watched was uh, they did a 4K restoration of it, but you know, this was 1080. Yeah, but it's weird. Okay, okay, first of all, it looks a little grainy because obviously it was probably a much lower resolution and they blew it up. But if you're gonna blow up to 4K, clean up the film, you know, it still had the blemishes in the film. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> you're gonna blow up to 4K, clean it up. And, uh, I mean, it's an okay movie. It's a definitely B movie, but a lot of cheesy lines, like, uh, the main guy telling his wife, look at this stained glass. Look at this missing piece. It's the missing piece. What? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a spot of tea? I'll go fuck yourself. <laughs> but it was okay movie, yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I liked the scenery. I liked how they showed, like, the trees and stuff in the Irish countryside. The biggest problem was, I think, the monster, when you show his face, he looks too goofy with the glowing eyes. Well, it looks, it's just because it looks fake. I mean, the design looks yeah. cool, but oh, it's just yeah. so fake looking, which, uh, uh, watch a lot of low budget movies for Horror Fest. I can forgive cheapness because I understand it's a low yeah. budget, but I think that's one of the things that distracts from the monster. Yeah. But I'm sure it was a low budget. I mean, oh, yeah. Clive Barker was nobody back then. Oh, I, I mean, I, I still enjoyed the movie. I mean, it reminds me, I'm a big fan of the Wes Craven movie Swamp Thing. And yep. the makeup on Swamp Thing was really cool, but when he fought those monsters, even my dad says, man, that's just guy, some guy in a mask. But the monsters he fought looked kind of goofy, the one with the baseball bat and stuff. You know, I love the movie. And it had one of the best lines from Nicholas Worth saying he was an abominable snowman. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I enjoyed Rawhead Rex. A little silly, I mean, not quite as good as a buck. Like, when they showed his glowing eyes and stuff like that, you know, they... I don't. I'm not saying it was bad about the monster. It it just kind of took away from the seriousness, kind of. But when the monster killed, it's pretty disturbing. And that one priest had been so naive not to know that bald guy was was under the the mon or nuts because he was nuts beforehand. But you know, I don't know. I give a let me see. If I give an eight out of ten to Rawhead Rex. <laughs> I don't know how well that looks. It probably looks goofy and stuff like that. <laughs> that looks about as good as the Rawhead Rex movie. Like, you know, he had the big glowing eyes. 
He looked like, uh, if you ever looked at eyes of Hacksaw Jim Duggan, like, he looked cross-eyed when they had the glowing eyes, though. And that kind of made it a little silly, took away from the seriousness of the movie, but it's very entertaining still. Like I said, I give it an 8 out of 10, and uh, what, what do you say, John? About a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. I'm sure IMDB probably put like a 4.5 out of 10. <laughs> still much better than Robot Holocaust. Oh, God, that was terrible. So I, I, I really enjoyed the movie. It's still a lot of fun. And uh, it's a forgotten film. And much better than Transmutations. And this was back before Hellraiser. I think Hellraiser's one when uh, Clive Barker... Yeah. Yeah, that was his, uh, that was his uh, Titanic or whatever it was. Uh, and soon we'll get around to watching his Nightbreed. <laughs> oh, yes. We'll do Nightbreed a review. Too. I saw that. I mean, I saw that the the original. Well, I saw the theatrical version in Germany, and I saw Lord of Illusion. But like I said, I didn't like Transmutation. I thought this was better than Transmutation, but not as good as Hellraiser or Nightbreed. Yeah, I was telling Jason earlier. Well, I got to read. I think it's on Hoopla Digital. Is uh, Clay Barker wrote a book called The Scarlet Gospels, which has um, the private eye from. Lord of Illusions, yeah. and I forget his name, but he's played by Scott Bakula in the movie. Oh, cool. But he takes on Pinhead. That sounds really cool. Yeah, but I think uh, when I was looking through Hoopla the one day, I saw it was on there. But uh, I have to get around to reading that. Yeah, it was really good. I enjoyed it. I got my winter jacket. This is really keeps me warm. I mean, I think it's like 27 degrees. That's going to get to a very balmy. 40 degrees tomorrow and Monday and maybe Tuesday and maybe Thursday. But, I mean, I really enjoy... I feel like I go off on a tangent again. But I really enjoyed the film, and uh, I'm, and it was a lot of fun, and I'm glad I saw it at my buddy John's house. So, uh, until next time, buddy. Are you done, buddy? I'm done. Yep. Take care of my legions. Thank you. Yeah, John's place doing movie reviews. Now, with the weather um, being bad in the holidays and stuff like that. I don't know how many more times we'll be doing videos like this, at least for a little while. But you can enjoy it while you can. And I enjoy spending time with my buddy. So I hope you like this upcoming movie review of Rawhead Rex. Jason Callen, your YouTube channel kicks ass. Everyone should go and subscribe to Jason freaking Callen, the hot sauce king pin of them all. Yeah. Always switching the things like that. Oh, right there. Wait, if I wait for it to focus. 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 Damn. Never don't want to focus at all. What's going on? I'm gonna help you buy some.